Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a feel on this extra, 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 extra long set of nails. So the first thing that I'm doing is just going in with the extra coarse safety drill bit to remove all of the gel polish. Um, this time we're not going to be doing any colored acrylic or anything. We're just going to do a plain color just like this last time, just because uh, she's grounding herself basically from getting any extra stuff until she loses weight so um i guess it works for someone that like really love to get their nails done like her um uh, for me i don't know what i would let go of definitely would have to let go of like sweets but i don't know y'all y'all know it's so hard when it comes to losing weight and it's like for me it's like that's when I start to crave even more stuff. Like whenever I say that I'm going on a diet or working out, I start to crave a lot. So, yeah. But anyways, um, again, that is an extra, extra course or sorry, an extra course safety drill bit. I'll be sure to leave that down in the description in my Amazon storefront. And for those of you that don't know what an Amazon storefront is, um, it's basically like everything that I recommend that I've bought from Amazon, it's all on one page. So you basically just go on there, you know, uh, click on a link and then purchase uh, from my store. But it's not um, things that I personally sell. It's just things that I've bought from Amazon that I like and recommend. So instead of like, you know, going to a thousand different links is just all on one page and you just browse through it um, and you will see everything that I've added on there. Alrighty, so we went ahead and removed the gel polish from both hands. So now we're going to go in with the cuticle pusher and we're just going to push those cuticles back. Remember that when it comes to pushing back the cuticles, you can use a metal cuticle pusher, plastic or wood, as long as it can be disinfected or disposed of. So next we're going to go in and remove the shine from the natural nail and we are using a 180 sanding band. Those are on my Amazon storefront as well. And then I added the drill on there too so you can go on there and check it out and it's from melody susie you could also go on melody susie and purchase it if you would like um either way would be completely fine um i know with amazon it might come a little bit faster if you have amazon prime so like i said whatever you feel more comfortable with doing but we're just going in and removing the shine of course falling around the cuticle area getting as close as you can to that cuticle because if you don't remove the shine really good you will get lifting this is definitely one of the most important steps of preventing lifting is making sure that you prep those nails really really good that way you don't leave any shine behind because you know leaving oils and then when you put the acrylic on there is basically like oil and water they just don't go together so most likely your nail is going to come right off next we're going in with the jc beauty concepts primer we're applying that on all of the nails on the natural nail only and then after that we're going to go in with the clear acrylic also by jc beauty concepts so this is my real speed whenever um for the acrylic application for right now so as you can see i place my bead pat it down and very gently brushing it down to blend it in with the rest of the nail and then also even though this is just a feel um you know whenever i remove the gel polish sometimes if you fall a little bit too much then you have to go in and replace 
replace the acrylic you know from the rest of the nail if you filed any off so i always just go in and of course look at the nail from different angles and if i need to add more at the tip or in the middle or wherever i just go in and add that product but as always make sure that before you start just adding product anywhere that you look at the nail from the side because we want to make sure that we have that apex so if you already have an apex and you know your thickness is good at the tip then there's no need to add more acrylic but if your nail is still thin at the tip and your apex is still really flat then of course you need to go in and add some more and the apex it's really important especially when you're doing extra long nails because you don't want those nails to break off now this set of nails that she has on has been on since june 1st and i think she's only broken like one pinky and that's it yeah i think she broke a pinky not too long ago but that's it other than that this set has been on since june 1st it is now about to be november so june july august september october november so five months y'all it's, it's about to be five months since, since i did um since i first did this set and as you can see they still look really good i mean you can see how long her natural nail has grown out so um this i guess kind of answers a question i know a lot of people always ask like how long can you keep your acrylic nails on before you have to take them off and honestly it just depends you know like there's some people that just don't mind you know their natural nails being long underneath i personally do not like my natural nails long underneath my acrylic so a lot of the time that's why i end up doing my feel like or my a new set soon after um with her like as you can see she doesn't mind so we can keep them on for as long as she want as long as the nails are not breaking off or lifting then the acrylic can stay on her nails um but yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and finish applying the acrylic on all of the nails um also another thing that i can uh or another advice that i can give you is making sure that you clean around the cuticle area really really good you just go around the cuticle with the very tip of your brush like you just seen me do there and that's so the acrylic is not on the skin because if you get it on the skin you most likely are going to get lifting because then it's really hard to file it off without cutting your client so you want to be very careful about that so when you place your bead down like right here you don't want to place it right on the skin you want to place it right below the cuticle and then whenever you pat it down that's you kind of spreading it out and getting it as close as close as close as you can that way there's not a huge gap in between your acrylic and your cuticle and then of course cleaning around making sure that we blend it down really good making sure that we have a nice apex and also making sure that the nails are not bumpy and lumpy so remember we're just mostly doing that bead around the cuticle area and then we just add a more acrylic as needed
Alrighty, so moving on to the thumb. I do want to mention, I know a lot of people asked me the last time, why is the thumb um, this off-white color? And the reason why is just because um, a while back, it was one of the designs that we did, and the um, acrylic on there, like on that set, was this color. And I forgot to do the clear underneath, so this nail is completely... Um, like made out of just this off-white acrylic so then instead of like taking the nail off and replacing it we've just kept it like this and plus it glows in the dark so she likes it um so that's why we've just left it like this i mean she don't mind it and there's nothing wrong with it it's just a different color and of course you know since we've been doing gel polish i mean it really does not matter um so yeah so basic or basically doing the same thing just filling in the nail with the acrylic and then just adding more wherever it's needed Alrighty, so we made it to the other hand and I'm going to go ahead and speed it up, um, but it's going to be the same process as the first hand, you know, as always the technique is always the same. Um, you just go in, apply your acrylic, pat it down, brush it down, clean around the cuticle area. It's never going to change, you know, it's just a matter of practicing and getting your liquid to powder ratio um, correct. That way the acrylic is not too wet or too dry. And then also I did want to mention like just what was it two days ago uh, an old friend or old classmate she started doing nails and she was uh, told me that she was having problems with the Mia Secret monomer not drying like at all or you know she was using the Mia Secret monomer and her acrylic would not dry at all like even after a while the nails were still like super like you can bend them um so i that's one of the reasons why i switched over to jc beauty concepts and that's what i was telling her you know um if you're having that same problem i um used to just do a few drops of acetone into the mia secret monomer and that will help it dry a little bit faster but i know even that did not work for her so if you, i know there, and the reason why i'm saying this is because i know that there's a lot of people still using mia secret um so if you're still having that problem um i honestly would suggest switching from using me a secret and it doesn't have to be jc beauty concepts you know just whatever acrylic system you um prefer i know for me i did my research before i switched over to a different acrylic you know looked up reviews and all that good stuff um but it it, it does make it a little bit harder to work with uh when you're working with products that um you know kind of give you a hard time i know for me that was kind of the same thing like it just took a lot longer to dry and it was too liquidy and it would just frustrate me a lot of the time especially when i was doing long nails like i kept having to add acrylic add acrylic 
a, like a lot of acrylic but um with this one that i'm using you know it's so much easier like from the very first set that i did with the jcbd concepts acrylic like i could just notice a difference because um it doesn't take as long to dry and it's just a lot easier to work with you're able to build your thickness a lot faster and you're not having to go in and add acrylic a million times because like i said you're able to build your apex and thickness a lot faster since the acrylic dries a little bit faster definitely recommend it for beginners so i'll be sure to leave the information down for you guys if you guys want to check them out but like i said if you right now for some reason you know maybe you just don't have the money maybe you just bought a, a brand new bottle of the mia secret monomer um the one thing that i can tell you to do is just add a few drops of acetone to your monomer and hopefully that will help Alrighty, y'all so we finished applying the acrylic and this is what they look like so super long and of course this is before i go in and reshape them so next we're gonna go in with the 8080 hand file to reshape all of the nails and y'all when i tell y'all i literally broke a sweat doing this like i was filing the hell out of those nails um so what i'm doing is just going in at a 90 degree angle and filing both sides to make sure that they're super straight and there are they were already super straight but you guys know that this this was the set that got posted on that little shade room thing so i did notice that one of the nails was um a little bit crooked i you know i do um admit to that i guess and i didn't notice that nail until after i took that picture um when i did the previous set that she had on or the previous color that she had on uh so this time i was going in and making sure that i you know shape them up really really good and i think it was just an index finger on the other hand i'm not sure but you'll be able to tell uh whenever i start shaping them but just and we we're also going a little bit more narrow so that's why i was having to do so much following but i did make sure that i straightened out that one nail um that was crooked and i honestly think that it wasn't me just shaping it bad it was honestly just that this set has been on for almost five months so i i think it's just the way her nail grew out because it was not crooked at the very beginning beginning um but yeah so just going in filing at a 90 degree angle on both sides making sure that you hold your file super super straight when you're doing this and then whenever you file the free edge make sure that you hold your file at a vertical angle because that for sure i know it helps me get the free edge like super super straight and then also as always make sure that you watch your shape as you're filing that way you don't over file and just alternate from side to side that way um you know one side is not leaning more towards the other or whatever so just make sure that you pay really close attention and as you can see after i've finished filing each nail i kind of step back and just look at it for a few seconds and if it's straight then of course i'll move on to the next one if not if it still needs to be filed a little bit more on one side then i just go in and file you know a little bit more but you do have to make sure that you watch as you're doing as you can see there i just you know hold all of the fingers together file whatever i need to file
Alrighty, y'all. So after I finish filing them, I'm going in with my e-file. This is the extra fine drill bit, and we're just gonna file around the cuticle area and of course the rest of the nail. But first, focusing around the cuticle area to make sure that it's all nice and smooth and that we seal that cuticle area. And then also making sure that the rest of the nail is nice and smooth. So again, that is an extra fine drill bit. And I know I get the question asked a lot, like um how do you know that you fouled enough and then also uh i think someone asked me before like you know i filed the nails but my nails are still bumpy and lumpy so the only way to get rid of those bumps and lumps is just by filing until the nail is smooth and then also um I usually know that I filed the nub once I'm able to see where the cuticle area is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That's how I know if I've sealed the acrylic around the cuticle area really good. And then as far as the rest of the nail is just until the nail is nice and smooth. Now, for me, I'm able to apply my acrylic on very uh, even and smooth. So I don't have to do much filing around or like, you know, as far as the rest of the nail. So that's why I only focus around the cuticle area first. Um, but I know for it's going to be different for everyone. So like I said, just file until the nail is nice and smooth. And I forgot to mention that for this part, I'm filing at 10,000 RPMs. Whenever I'm removing the shine from the natural nail, I file at 5,000 RPMs. And then whenever I remove uh, gel polish or colored acrylic, I file at 15,000 RPMs. Again, this is the um, Melody Susie Nail Drill. And I'll be sure to leave the link down below to their website as well as the link to um, the one on Amazon, which is the same thing, you know, same seller and everything um but like i said if you have amazon prime i think you know you just get it a lot faster
Alrighty, so now we're going in with a buffer and we're just gonna buff all of the nails really, really good. And this is to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. And also make sure that when you're buffing like super long nails like this, that you hold the tip as you're doing this. That way it doesn't hurt them and the nail is not just wobbling all over the place. Um, so after we finish buffing all of the nails, we're gonna move on to just dusting them off and then wiping them off with an alcohol wipe. Alrighty, so now for the gel polish, we are using the color Perfect Orange by Madame Glam. As you guys know, Madame Glam is my all-time favorite gel polish company. Their colors are so beautiful. The formula is nine free, vegan, cruelty-free, and they are just the best ever. So I definitely recommend them. If you guys didn't know, they do have a VIP program. And basically, you just pay a certain amount every month but that money that you're paying you actually get to use that same money to buy gel polishes so to me it's basically like you're not paying because you get to use that same money um so it's an awesome program if you constantly buy gel polishes but like i said i definitely recommend their gel polishes my whole gel polish collection consist of madam glam so definitely 100 percent recommend them but again this is um perfect orange by madam glam and so we're gonna do two coats of this color and then we're gonna do the madam glam gel top coat and of course i always cure my gel polish for 30 seconds and then i cure my uh top coat for 60 seconds and i also use the holly lamp by madam glam
Alrighty, y'all. So here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really pretty. I mean, they're simple, but that color is just everything. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at GetNo32, and I will see you guys next time.